2011, West Virginia was responsible for $85 million worth of hardwood exports around the world. The Appalachian region is biologically diverse with the species uh, of wood product that are relevant to today's commercial market. Yeah, there's a lot of species out here. I mean, cherry is one of the best around. But, you know, with all the oaks and the white oaks, it gives us all kinds of wood available to us. In Buckana, West Virginia, we manufacture engineered lumber composites using the yellow poplar species. We reach out about 120 square miles um, from the plant site, and what we find is we're right in the center of a heavy patch of yellow poplar. Companies you would recognize in the Hardwood Alliance Zone are Armstrong World Industries, a premier wood flooring manufacturer, Greenfield Cabinetry, Allegheny Wood Products, Warehouser, and many others. You can have the greatest product in the world, provide the greatest service in the world, but if you can't get it to market, it, it, it's absolutely useless. So we have all of that right here in the Hardwood Alliance Zone. We have railroads, we have four lane highways, we have the ability to get our premier product to market. So Interstate 79 allows us to jump quickly to the north or quickly to the south to, to deliver our, our product at lower transportation costs. The hardwood industry has, has been a part of West Virginia since its infancy. Um, the, the hardwood industry has provided jobs for third and fourth generation families. There's actually 200 years of heritage within the forest industry. Uh, there is a reason why we have a forest festival in Elkins each year. Woodworkers are very proud individuals. They come from a long history of working with hardwoods. I do craft work cutting boards, rolling pens, I turn bowls. Whether you're cutting trees in the forest or you're processing them in a mill or you're trucking them to market, the workforce is the key behind the wood products industry. We are finding that technical schools are engaged with us, finding out what our needs are in our work and through, through education to, to develop those needs. The state of West Virginia and local governments are very supportive of the hardwoods industry. They've been there to answer the call when markets have been down. They've been there to, to help when markets are good. We work closely with Development Authority, and a lot of our work's been around workers' comp in the state and, and taking care of the loggers. So they're such a critical component of our ability to operate here in West Virginia. The hardwood industry has provided jobs for third and fourth generation families. They are harvesting a resource that is renewable um, two or three times in a, in a lifetime. So it's a product that can uh, continue throughout time. We're only consuming 40% of the growth rate of yellow poplar at this point in time, which is amazing. There's more yellow poplar today than there was in 1994 when we started this plant. You can continue working with this material to the end of time. With, with proper management, you have skill sets and jobs that will be here and, and be needed throughout time.